After President Trump's visit to South Florida announcing changes to the U.S. Cuba policy, Cuba's foreign minister is firing back, saying the country will not heed to pressure or threats. Our Hatzel Vela watched today's speech right from Havana and has reaction from the island. Cuba's foreign minister going on a full-blown attack against the new U.S. policy towards Cuba. After explaining the new policies, Bruno Rodriguez attacked those on stage. Rodriguez calling the whole thing a show, adding the theater where the event was held is named after a mercenary like many of those on stage, he says, whom he linked to the Batista dictatorship. including the father of the violin player, whom Rodriguez called a killer in the Batista government, also calling dissidents like Antunes and others on stage foreign agents of the U.S. With the new measures towards Cuba, he said the U.S. would lose credibility on foreign policy, reminding those watching that many Republicans oppose the new policy. He says the majority of Cubans want a better relationship with the U.S., and these new policies will hurt not just the state, sino también a las cooperativas y a los trabajadores por cuenta propia. The new policy, he says, will affect the cooperatives and the private sector. Injusto, inhumano, genocida. Unjust, inhumane, and genocidal is how he described the new Trump approach. Goes on to say America does not have the moral authority and should not lecture on human rights. Cuba y Estados Unidos. But Cuba and the U.S., he says, can cooperate and coexist in a civilized way as long as there's respect between both countries. Cuba will never give away its sovereignty, he says, or negotiate its principles. Rodriguez reiterated the existing bilateral agreements, more than 20 of them, some of them having to do with human and drug trafficking, saying that Cuba will go forward with these and looking forward to possible new ones. I'm Hatsovella, Local 10 News, Havana.